Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 Jet Ski. And today I'm gonna to give you a quick overview of all the different components that makes this the Monster Build Ultra 350. So we're gonna start at the front and work our way to the back. In the battery compartment, I've got the Cowie Performance Lithium Ion Battery. This is more than 50% lighter than the OEM lead acid or an AGM battery. At the heart of the Ultra 350 is the Stage 3 Tune by Riva Racing. This is loaded via the Riva Map Tuner. The Map Tuner is an incredibly dynamic device and when paired with a PLX module, allows you to record and play back critical engine and sensor data. Here I've got the unlimited PWC handlebar riser. This is their low down fixed riser. It's anodized 6061 billet aluminum. And then underneath that, I've actually got a Cowie Performance resin spacer, just to give me a little bit extra height. Here I've got an OEM Kawasaki handlebar pad. And then I've got the ODI Rogue grips. To finish those grips off, I've got the unlimited PWC billet anodized 6061 end caps. And I've got the unlimited PWC KSRD block off plate here that's also anodized. It matches the handlebar assembly. Now let's take a look here at the engine. So first I've got the Cowie Performance 316 stainless steel engine cover knobs. These are a must have if you plan on checking your engine out on the water. And these are incredible quality the highest quality stainless steel that you can manufacture these parts out of. All right, let's pop the engine compartment and take a look. So first you can see I've got the Cowie Performance Fuel Pump Mod Kit. That has an aluminum cylinder, a 250 liter per hour fuel pump, and it provides me with the flow that I need to run a stage three kit on this machine. I've also got the Cowie Performance Cold Air Intake. Now that's got a massive filter pod with a waterproof bonnet up in the front of the ski there. And you can see that I've retained my PCV vacuum breather line. Next, I've got this custom exhaust pipe from Cowie Performance with a Bosch O2 sensor. This allows me to monitor my air to fuel ratios. I've also got the Cowie Performance grade five titanium bolt kit, the entire exhaust pipe here, as well as the exhaust manifold, the supercharger tensioner, and you can't really see it down there, but the supercharger itself has all been upgraded to that Cowie Performance stainless and titanium hardware. Also, my intercooler now has 316 stainless steel bolts from Cowie Performance. So of course you can't miss the unlimited PWC valve cover here. This is an absolutely incredible part that I've had for quite some time. It's held up incredibly well. And to round that all off, I've got the Cowie Performance grade five titanium valve cover bolts. These also have an upgraded washer underneath that has a stainless steel element in it rather than the carbon steel element that comes in the factory washers. Looking at the fuel rail here, I have the Cowie Performance stainless steel fuel rail upgrade. You can see that it's got this upgraded custom machined block right here, as well as full 316 stainless steel hardware. And then I've got 316 stainless steel Allens holding my intake manifold to the block. You can see that I've removed all those cumbersome hoses that reroute the hot air back to the air box, as well as getting rid of that ridiculous factory air box. Here I've just got a filter pod with a waterproof bonnet from Cowie Performance here. And then let's take a look down at the tensioner assembly there. These are made from high quality billet aluminum with a black hard coat. They include 303 stainless steel washers, 303 stainless steel bushings, 304 stainless steel snap rings, Vitten seals with 316 stainless springs inside, and stainless steel made in Japan high quality bearings. So this tensioner assembly has the Gen 2 Cowie Performance Titanium Spring Bushings. So some of you may have the bronze bushings. These are upgraded grade five titanium for extreme salt water use. And if you could tell from looking in here, every single bolt that I could replace with stainless steel, I did. And you can't really see it right here, but I've got the Riva Racing Stage 3 pulley installed. Also the supercharger bolts there, all 316 stainless steel. And then to round it all off, of course, I've got the Cowie Performance exhaust filter bypass. 
So this machine isn't just about getting the highest straight line top speed. This is about extreme durability in a heavy duty saltwater environment. And just from looking at this, you could see that every single bolt on my exhaust system and on my engine has been upgraded to grade five titanium or 316 stainless steel. And this is gonna ensure longevity of the hardware and of the engine itself. Another big thing, sometimes these skis develop boost leaks in the factory throttle body spacer, which is basically a rubber spacer. So I've upgraded that with an anodized aluminum spacer you can see right there. And the throttle body that I'm using, even though this is a 2022 machine, I'm using a Japanese made Makuna throttle body from a 2019 Kawasaki Ultra 310. It is different, watch my video on that if, if you think uh, you wanna look, learn a little bit more about that, but I am running a Japanese Makuni throttle body from the Gen 1. It has a different TPS sensor arrangement than the newer one, and uh, the motor assembly and everything in the older one is Japanese made. In the 2022 and up Makuni throttle body, it's all Chinese. And let's not forget about my grade five titanium deck hardware kit from Cowie Performance. So these are all custom machined by Cowie Performance, grade five titanium, they will never rust. So the final part of my monster build is down underneath the water here. And that is my Riva Racing ride plate for the Ultra 310. So it can, you can just see it through the water there. And then also I've got a custom pitched impeller from Glenn at Impros. Now Riva wants you to run a Solus impeller on these machines, but after some testing, I was not really completely satisfied with the Solus. So I sent out the stainless steel OEM impeller to be repitched to the spec to run the stage three kit. And so far it's been working great. And then of course, it's hard to miss my unlimited PWC traction mats that I've got on this machine. These are the brick cut traction mats in lime green and I've got them, the entire machine and the ultra deck. I've had these for a number of years and they've held up great so far. And last, but definitely not least, my machine features these KRP through-hull fittings. These are made from solid 316 stainless steel, and they will never break or rust. The factory fittings are plastic with hardware that tends to rust. These provide the ultimate level of through-hull durability. So all these components together give you what I call the Ultra 310 Monster Build. Well, that is just a quick look at my monster build. I'll be doing a lot more content on this machine as well as showing you some speed benchmarking because I know you guys are really interested to see that. So the only other thing I have to do to this machine is I'm upgrading the fuel system again to add an external regulator. And uh, that's just so I could fine tune my fuel pressure a little bit more. It's not running lean or anything at the moment, but I just want uh, a little bit more fuel at uh, 8,300 RPM with the Riva Stage 3 kit. But uh, with that Cowie Performance 250 liter per hour mod kit that I've got in there, the AFR values are stellar right now. By adding the bolt-on components you've seen in this video, I was able to achieve an additional 40 horsepower out of the Ultra 310 platform without any major modifications to the engine internals, the supercharger, the jet pump, the cooling system, or the intercooler. Special thank you to Cowie Performance, Riva Racing, Impros, the Impeller Professionals, Unlimited PWC, and KRP Lay Dynamics for making this build possible. You can find links to all the products featured in this video by checking the video description. Thank you for watching and see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive jet ski content, only on JD's Waterworld.